Now let's take a look at install method two. Um, again, we're logged back into our cPanel, and what we're going to do is go down to the file manager, and we're going to click um, the file manager link, and it will open up in a new window. And we're going to make sure that we're in the public HTML. Now when you're in the public HTML, if you're installing the site on your main domain, and if you are, you won't have anything here, okay? So unless it's in an add-on domain, you want to find the folder for your add-on domain or subdomain. So what I'm going to do is just create a folder. So I'll just call it install2. Now we're going to go down to that folder or the folder of your site and you'll notice that there's nothing here. What we're going to do now is click on the upload icon and it will open up in a new tab and here we're going to browse the location where you downloaded the files. Now back on, uh, in your folder we're going to go into the duplicator install files. This folder right here that's zipped, that's zipped up is the um, folder that we're going to be uploading. So just highlight it and then click open. Now we're also going to upload the installer, installer.php, and then click open. While this is uploading, and you'll see it uploading in the bottom right hand corner, while that's uploading, let's go back to our home cPanel and we're going to go down and create a database. So we're going to go to MySQL database wizard. So let's create a database. Um, you can call the database anything you want. So we're going to click on next step. And I'm going to call the user the same thing. Now you want to put in a password. You want to make sure and copy that password to a notepad. And then we're going to click on create user. Now at this point we're going to make sure and cre um, copy this information to a notepad also. This is the database name and username. Once we have that copy to our notepad we're going to check the box that says all privileges. And then we're going to click on next step. Okay at this point we're done with our creating our database. We can go back to the home cPanel. Now let's jump back over where we is uploading our files. You can see that they're complete. So what we're going to do is click on this link to go back. So once you go back, this is what you'll have a zip file and the installer. Now we need to extract this zip file. So we're going to make sure it's highlighted and we're going to click on the extract key link up at the top and then click extract. Now we can click close and now we're going to click on reload. Okay, you can see that all of our files are extracted. Now in your browser, you're going to type in your domain that you put the that you just uploaded the files to, and then forward slash installer.php. Once you go to that domain, this is what you will see. Or once you go to your domain forward slash installer.php, this is what you will see. Now we need to just put in our uh, database user, password, and database name. This is the information that we copied to our notepad. Once we have that information in, we're going to click on Test Connection. And hopefully, if we got everything right, it will say Success. Now we can just click Close. And we're going to check this box down at the bottom. And we're going to click on Run Deployment. Now we're going to click OK. Now one thing will happen is this install error will come up. And it just tells you that there's already a WP config file. OK, so let's go delete that file back in your file manager we're going to scroll down and find the wpconfig.php which is here and we're just going to highlight that and delete it once that's gone let's go back over and click on try again now we're going to click on run deployment and then click OK now um, the, uh, the installer is actually going to install your site and it'll let you know if it's been completed and we're going to click on run update and our site is installed it's going to give you some steps to take 
um, just to save your permalinks. Um, you can test your site in file cleanup. It wants you to, it recommends that you in, uh, delete the installer files from your uh, file manager. Now, what I would do is click on Save Permalinks and it would take you to your site. You will log in with the details that I give you and then you just want to resave your permalinks. Now, next thing we're going to do is go into the File Manager and we need to delete this zip file. We don't need it no more. And we're also going to delete the installer.php. At that point, your site is installed and ready to go.